Hi students, we are going to solve the problem we have seen in video 9 in auxiliary projection method. Here we have a pentagonal prism 25 mm side, 70 mm axis standing on HP on an edge of base with axis making 40 degrees to HP and the edge of base on which it is standing making 30 degrees to VP. Video 9. The advantage of auxiliary projection method over redrawing method is that you can do this in 60% of the time that is required for redrawing method. If redrawing method takes 30 minutes, this method will take about 20 minutes. That's the advantage. So from exam point of view, auxiliary projection method is extremely important. If you want 100 marks, go for auxiliary. That's my advice. Okay. Same simple position. Same simple position. An edge of base perpendicular to VP. Edge of base DC perpendicular to VP. Now what? Draw X1 by 1. Where is X1 by 1? X1 by 1 is drawn through C dash D dash. Why? Because when you tilt it, it is going to stand on the side DE, edge DE. So X1 by 1 is drawn through C dash D dash. In such a way that this angle is 40 degrees. X1 by 1. The x y which you are drawn initially is small. This is x one right. Now what? Draw an auxiliary plan. You know the method of drawing an auxiliary plan. Draw projectors through all points in the elevation perpendicular to x one by one. Draw projectors perpendicular to x one by one. Then, then what? Take the distance of the plan from x y and draw a new plan. x y and the plan is equal to the new plan. x y and plan is equal to the new x one y one and the projector is equal to the new plan. Okay. A1, F1, F1, A1, F1, EJ. E1, J1, BK, BG, B1, G1, CH, C1, H1, DI, D1, I1, OP. OP you could have initially marked O1, P1. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, O, P. You have got all the points. You are looking in this direction. Which pentagonal face is nearer to the observer? Which pentagonal face is nearer to the observer? F, G, H, I, J. So that will be visible. Make it firm. Form. Then AF form, EJ form, BG form, EA, AB form, BC dotted, CD dotted, and DE dotted. Dotted, dotted. Axis O1 P1 chain line, it coincides with this much, this much with your firm line and this much is chain. So what you have got? You have got the auxiliary plan. How is the solid now? Now the prism is standing on an edge of base with the axis parallel to VP and inclined at 40 degrees to HP. The edge of base on which it is standing, C1, D1, CD, edge CD, is perpendicular to VP now. The question says, the edge on which it is standing has to make 30 degrees to VP. What do you have to do? You have to extend C1, D1. Draw a line A1, 
x2 v2 x2 y2 at 30 degrees 30 degrees to the extension of to the extension of c1 d1 x2 y2 now what draw a new elevation for that this plan is kept to say from all points of the plan draw perpendicular projectors or so projectors perpendicular to this x2 y2 You have to be extremely careful while drawing these projectors. A small change can affect your drawing. Okay, now we have to mark the points. Here is the most important thing. What are we going to draw? You are going to draw a new elevation. You are going to draw a new elevation. What distance is to be taken? Distance of the previous elevation from previous xy. elevation Paraya xy and the paraya elevation of the duro degram. Either paraya xy, x one by one. Paraya elevation is this one. I repeat, you are going to draw a new elevation. Which distance is to be taken? Distance of the previous elevation from the previous xy. This is the previous elevation, this is the previous xy. Paraya elevation in the key, paraya xy and the duro degram, pudia xy and the very key. Other the project trail. Okay, let us see. The point c dash and d dash are. On x1 by 1. C dash and d dash are on x1 by 1. On x1 by 1 means 0 distance from x1 by 1. So at 0 distance from x2 by 2, you will have c1 dash, c1 dash, and d1 dash. D1 dash. A dash is this far away from x1 by 1. Take this distance and mark on the projector through A, A1. You get what? A one dash. B dash and C dash are this, e, B dash and E dash are this far away from x1 by 1. Take that distance and mark on the projector through B1, B1 to get B1 dash and on the projector through E to get E1 dash. O dash is this far away from x1 by 1. So take that distance and mark on the projector through O1 to get O1 dash. You have got all the 5 points on the base. Then, F dash is this far away from x1 by 1. I will measure it. F dash is this far away from x1 by 1. Take this distance and mark on the projector through F. You get F1 dash. G dash and J dash are this far away from x1 by 1. Take that and mark on the projector through G to get G1 dash and J to get J1 dash. P dash is this far away from x1 by 1. Take and mark on the projector through P to get P1 dash. H dash and I dash are this far away from x1 by 1. Mark on the projector through H to get x1 dash and I1 dash. You have got all the 5 plus 5 plus 2, 12 points. Now connect. This is the direction from which you look. There is a pentagonal face called A, B, C, D, E and another pentagonal face called the F, G, H, I, J and this face A, B, C, D, E is nearer to the observer. Things that are far away from X2, Y2 things that are far away from X2, Y2 are nearer to the observer to draw when you draw the elevation. X2, Y2 is the dure of the observer that is the elevation of the X2, Y2 is the adit of the VP is not the same as the elevation of the 
मुगर ही नानू लग इग्री सो यू कनेक्ट ए बी सी डी ई ए बी सी डी ई देन कनेक्ट देम This is the final elevation. Final elevation. Base is visible. The top is not completely visible, but partially visible. Top is not completely visible, but partially visible. Now, this is plan. This is x y. This is elevation. If you are not comfortable, rotate your book so that the x y to become horizontal. Rotate the book so that the x y to become horizontal and the elevation become above x y and plan become below x y. Agree? X y and x one by one and the elevation are going to do it. That that will be the trail mark. That will be the final elevation. Once you get this, you have to decide what is visible and what is not visible. All visible edges have to be found and all invisible edges have to be dotted. That's all to be remembered. विजिबिलिटी <coughs> standing on hp on a side which is inclined at some angle to bp and axis making some angle to h agree okay then thank you